بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان سور ابراہیم ورس 34 اللہ سز و آتا کم من کل مسا التم و ان تدو نعمت اللہ لا تحسوحا ان نل انسان لزلمن کفار اینڈ دا ٹرانسلیشن آف دس ورس از اینڈ ہی گیو یو فرام آل یو آسٹ آف ہم اینڈ اف یو شوڈ کاؤنٹ دا فیورز آف اللہ یو کڈ ناٹ کاؤنٹ دم ان ڈیڈ مین کائنڈ از جنرلی موسٹ ان جسٹ اینڈ ان گریٹفل نا دس ایپیسوڈ از اباؤٹ آنسرنگ ون سمپل کوشچن اف اللہ گرانس از فور کان ٹو ایز آور ہارٹس اف ہی کنسولس از ڈیورنگ اے ٹیسٹ اینڈ ایون سم ٹائمس بفور دا ٹیسٹ دین وائی از اٹ دیٹ دا میجورٹی آف اس آر ان ڈپریشن Why does the consolation not uplift us, make us ready to fight all our battles, convert us into strong, determined Muslims who cannot easily be deceived by shaitan? The answer is simple, because by nature, man is ungrateful. It is part of human nature that we tend to remember all the bad things that happened to us in our lives, all the times we cried, grieved, and feared. We even remember the bad things that were said to us, who said it to us, when they were said. But we forget the good times, the moments we smiled and laughed, the feeling we had in our hearts of relief and joy. For example, if I were to tell you right now, to close your eyes and think of five moments in your life when you were extremely worried or upset because you lost something, something bad happened to you or just someone hurt you. Within a few minutes, you will be able to come up with those five moments. In fact, some of us might even come up with 10. If I ask you to recount what happened during those grieving moments, you will be able to recount each and every detail. Who said what? Where did it happen? When did it happen? What was going on in your mind and how heavy your heart felt? You will probably describe all five moments in 20 minutes. But if I ask you to recount five moments in your life when you were happy, joyful, laughing, the best moments of your life, it will take you more than just a few minutes to come up with something. In fact, some of you might even have difficulty coming up with five moments in your life. And then if I ask you to describe those moments, you will describe them quickly and briefly, maybe in just two or three minutes. You won't exactly remember who said what, what time the event took place, what exactly was going on through your mind. At best, you will just be able to briefly summarize it. But the truth is, in our lives, we did not have five or ten moments of happiness. We had many, because if we didn't, none of us would be alive right now. None of us would have survived the tests of life. There were many moments, in fact, where we felt relief and joy. There were many moments where we smiled and laughed. There were many moments where we silently thanked Allah for giving us eyesight because we just crossed a blind person. There were many moments we silently thanked Allah for our health because we just crossed an ill person. That is why in this verse, Allah reminds us that even if you were to count all the blessings and favors of Allah that he has given you in your life, you won't be able to. So while we have trouble remembering even five moments of joy and happiness, Allah is telling us that the reality is there were infinite. And the verse also tells us that He has given us all that we asked for. Now what does that mean? Allah gave you intellect, a beautiful root to guide you, a Quran to uplift you. He gave you beautiful friends and companions to help you. That counts more than anything else. These things are more valuable than material items of this dunya. But the problem is we choose to focus on the bad things because we like to be the victim. It gives us extra love and attention from people and everyone wants extra love and attention. So Allah tells us that during those moments, man is behaving in a very ungrateful manner. So remember that by being grateful, not only will you be selected for Allah's special mercy because Allah will be extremely happy with you, but you will be doing yourself a favor. When you constantly choose to focus on the bad that has happened to you, when you constantly choose to play the role of victim, it drains your heart of positivity. And when the heart becomes weak and exhausted, every cell in the body becomes weak and exhausted. That is when you start to develop physical and mental health problems. 
But when the heart is strong, determined and positive, every cell in the body will be uplifted. And then you will have the ability to fight anything that comes your way. So remember, the next time your mind starts to focus on the bad things that happened to you in the past, and you start to feel as if you're entering into that victim mode, stop yourself and start to focus on the good things that happened to you. Those moments of joy and happiness that you felt. Because the minute you start to think about those things, you will feel positive, strong and uplifted, and you will be able to overcome any test or battle that comes your way. Assalamu alaikum.